I'm Kevin Shaw at the IGSBA World Finals, and you're watching Long Haul. Okay, so we're here in the Yamaha booth, and we're standing here with Scott Watkins, a man who doesn't require much of an introduction to many of you, but he's been with Yamaha for a couple decades now as the head of product planning, and we're checking out the new GP1800. It was new for this year, and it was pretty much a runaway hit for you guys, right? Yeah, this was just introduced and for, as a 2017 model. It's only been available for about seven months, and it's already the premier dominating watercraft out there in the stock class. Yeah, for sure. Well, we were checking out all the starting lines, and it's almost all GP 1800s. Yeah. It's, With, it's to be wild. able to have a turnaround like that in just the first season really proves like how dominant this model is going to be out there in racing. Right. And I mean, the aftermarket just absolutely jumped on it. We saw that uh, very little is required to really open up this watercraft. Even if you're an enthusiast or a racer, this thing's really just a monster. Yeah, it is. With the 1.8 liter engine, uh, supercharged, gives you a really good base to start with. Very reliable, so the aftermarket guys like that because that means they can lean on it a little bit more and get just that much more performance out of it. And then the hull shape is probably the best hull shape we've ever had. For going around the track, it's just the right combination of lean in and hook up. It's a very versatile hull, it's very stable and very comfortable. And being comfortable sometimes means that it sticks to the water well, it takes the waves well, and that's what makes it good for racing also. It stays hooked up very well, and once you put a little bit of tune on it, you're going very fast, very easy. Fantastic. Now let's do a little bit of a walk around around the new G, uh, the GP1800. Obviously for 2018, you, you don't need to fix anything that's definitely not broke. So really we're just looking at some colors and some graphics, but it's really the same craft that came out earlier this year, correct? Yeah, this year we're offering a, a different color schemes, kind of a, a commemorative kind of Yamaha family racing, okay. a retro a little bit look, if you so called. And it's with a stroke pattern and I love that. deep yeah. racing blue. That's yeah, really a lot cool. of people can really really connect and relate to this as a racing look. So right, it's, right. Uh, it's going to be really popular this year. And yes, the, the specifications are pretty much the same. Um, like I said earlier, the 1.8 liter SVHO engine, supercharged. And once you put a tune on it, air intake, these guys are going up to 90 miles an hour oh, in this man, one. That's just, insane. Uh, with very little modifications. It's got a 160 millimeter pump, which is really you know, where you put the power to the water, it's in the pump. I think of the pump as like the back tires, you know, right. in the drag race. If you spin them, you're not going to go anywhere. So you got to have a good pump and a good prop. Okay. A lot of work is put into the props. And okay. the prop's like the only gear. Since it's direct drive, and it's kind of a, like a black science thing. You know, the guys <laughs> that are out there that are really just putting the seat time in, because they got plenty of power, almost too much power. Right. So you got to have a prop or you don't you gotta have a tire that won't spin. Exactly. So some of the best tuners out there, they have really good prop skills as well. Today these guys, some of them are running like twin props. Wow. Getting off the line okay. is so important. So these That's guys fantastic. are really putting a lot into getting off the starting line. So when you see that starting line, you know uh, how critical it is to these guys because it's not that easy to pass out here, and you guys are gonna be able to see in some of this stuff. So the split course is an opportunity to pass, but you've gotta get off the line. And that's really what the GPs have been able to do very, very well this year. Uh, and, you know, it's a lot of that's due to the lightweight, the nano tube material that right. we put into them. If they're 100 pounds less than anything else out there, that helps you get off the line. Well, that power, power to rate ratio, yeah, man, that's power, where it's all at. Lightweight, yeah. handling, you're done. You know, and it's, you need a rider. That's right. Rider. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. You can't replace that talent behind the behind the no, bars for sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm. We've we've been done a lot of testing on the GP, and we've really come to enjoy everything that you guys put into it. 
I'm thinking you guys have at least five, six, maybe even seven years of development in this machine, right? Yeah. From the powertrain all the way up to the hull design. Yes, we have. The, um, the hull design is one of those things that's also a little bit of like black science as well. It's just, it's trial and error, trial and error. You got to get that right feel. You got to get the right amount of top speed, the right amount of, of hookup. So it's a little bit of a, a give and take there. But if you can get that right combination, you're going to have the best all around boat and the best boat for racing. So tell me, maybe it's a little bit of inside baseball, but when that BX was get, was on the plate getting ready to be announced, was this already in development? Yeah, it was in development no already. Yes, <laughs> and we knew it was coming. Um, so we, when we designed the VX originally, mm -hmm. we designed it with 250 oh, that's plus, awesome. plus horsepower. <laughs> you've got to make sure the hull can handle the power. Right. So that means you got to kind of wet it a little bit. you got to okay. stick it to the water. So that's what we did. Well, that's fantastic. Scott, thank you so much for your time. Awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank, thank you, sir. For 2018, SeaDoo radically changed their RX TX platform with an all new ST3 platform. New hull, new jack. It's a completely revolutionary ski. The first guys to get that hand on that watercraft was Riva Racing. Today we're here at the IGSPA World Finals with Dave Bambus of Riva Racing, and he's going to show us everything that they put into their one of one, completely custom RX TX. 350. Dave, walk me through. There's so much going on here. Thanks, Kevin. We're really excited about this new sea platform, and my guys have been working hard. We have all the performance parts to make this thing go fast, make it turn better, and make it look awesome. Let's start with our steering system. Okay. We have a complete billet steering system here, precision. It replaces the OEM steering system, and it mates up to our nice 32-inch bars. The bars are um, a better angle for performance turning, and they accept, of course, aftermarket grips. We have the ODI grips on here. Billet switch housings, which hold all your OEM switches. I was gonna say, this is really great. Plus, you're using the old switches, and I presume that the plugs, they plug right in? Everything it, plugs right in, everything installs very easily. It even holds your factory desk post, so your, your key fob can hook right on very there. Very cool. The really neat billet detail you guys have here. Exactly. Really like that. So the, the steering system, the bars, the grips, they not only look good, but they really give you a lot more confidence in the turns. Very cool. Yeah. All right. What else we got here? Obviously, this is fantastic. One of the neat features of the new watercraft was this giant access panel that comes right off. You can crawl inside the engine compartment. It, exactly. When you remove the seat, there's a plastic cover that you can then remove, and it gives you complete access to the engine bay. So we got in there with our technicians and, and made a really good engine package. Um, starting with the air intake system, we have a free flow air intake system here which brings cold air in from the front engine vents and delivers it directly to your supercharger, okay. no restrictions, cold air and a cooler denser charge means more horsepower. Very cool. What else we got? Um, we, we're using the OEM ECU but we've reflashed it using our MapTuner X reflash system so we can reprogram the factory computer, increase the rev limit, increase timing, increase fuel delivery and it makes perfect perfectly to the stage three engine package that's awesome. installed on this watercraft. Fantastic. And this blow-off valve, this is the same that you guys have used for a few years, correct? Right, that's the big 50 millimeter tile blow-off valve, hooks directly to your intercooler tube, and that's um, basically when you're in an off-throttle uh, condition, you're at a high rate of RPM, you let go of the throttle, your throttle plate closes on your throttle body. That air from your supercharger has nowhere to go. Right. So that scrubs all that boost off. Uh, right. So the the, the um, tile valve opens up, releases that that pressure, and that gets uh, that reduces compressor surge, which improves the life for your compressor clutch, for your uh, supercharger clutch, and then also when you get back on the gas, you have cooler, denser air back and back up awesome. into the supercharger. Yeah. Now obviously, the, you got to move all this. You got to move all that spent gas out. So tell me a little bit about the exhaust system that we got going on here. Right. Exhaust system wise, we have replaced the um, 
um, water box with our Riva water box for the 300. Same water box that we sell for the RXP 300 fits right into this new platform. And it's a basically a wide open design. So it lets the gases, exhaust gases move through with no restriction. Okay. Less heat in the engine and better, better flow for the exhaust. And right from your water box, it goes right out the back of the ski with our rear exhaust kit. Now, you mentioned obviously a lot of, a lot of thought went into the handling components. I noticed that we have some new sponsons and we also have some pole extensions coming out of the back. That's correct. Um, the sponsons are all new for this hull. It makes this thing corner like it's on rails. <laughs> yep. They, um, they're adjustable up and down okay. so the rider can adjust them for how much influence he wants them to have and how tight he wants the machine to turn. Okay, so we still have a lot to talk about here about the engine. I'm noticing the uh, billet intake manifold. You've also anodized that red. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and everything else that we got going on here? Sure. We, we've upgraded the intake manifold with our one-piece Riva Wilson billet intake manifold. And this unit is a lot stronger than the OEM. The OEM manifold is plastic. Right. So when we increase the boost to the supercharger, the stock at manifold can swell and sometimes it pops and you right. lose all pressure and, and, and it fails. So this billet manifold is rock solid, the performance is excellent, and uh, this one obviously is anodized red for our custom sure, application. Sure. And, we uh, got the big fuel rail here. Uh, we step up the injectors too? Yes, yeah, so we went to um, the VT1100 uh, injectors, which work very well with our MAP Tuner X reflashing. And we're delivering the fuel through this high flow rail. And we have the pressure gauge mounted so you can monitor your fuel pressure, which is nice. Uh, we've also upgraded the cooling system. This unit has our open loop cooling system. Oh, very cool. So uh, the OEM system on a Sea-Doo is taking uh, a, a recirculating, you know, it's a closed loop system. Correct. So now we're taking cold water from the outside okay. and uh, cooling the block with that. It does have a sacrificial zinc anode built into our open loop cooling system. So if you're running in salt water, no worry about corrosion. Fantastic, just standard standard operating procedure. You flush it out and you're good to go. Right, Okay. and then supercharger wise, we are running our triple X charger, okay. which has a, it can deliver up to, I believe 23 pounds of boost. Woo. And it's making big horsepower at the higher RPMs. Okay, well with that kind of boost, you definitely want the blow off valve and that manifold. Exactly, the package works together together beautifully and it's all tuned with the map tuner x to deliver 350 horsepower outstanding i love it well this is fantastic i'm noticing the uh the custom reva mat kit goes all the way through I, I i presume that's available as well correct sure yeah it's a custom mat kit from uh hydro turf that's built to our specification it includes the reva racing logo on the aft deck so that you know my guys went to great extent working with different vendors in the industry to make custom stuff for this watercraft we are so excited about this new platform platform and all of this equipment will be available by January, February as this new RXT gets out into the market. Very cool. I think the, the, the hardest thing for me to take is that I can't buy it just like this, but I got to build my own. That's, is that correct? Exactly. We can supply the parts and you can build it at home. Okay. Ah, well now I know what I have. A, I have a project lined up for me then. There we go. We uh, can help you with that project, Kevin. Well, thanks very much. And make sure to check out everything at RevaRacing.com. I'm Kevin Shaw, and you've been watching Long Haul. Make sure to check us out Monday through Friday at www.watercraftjournal.com.